Hey everybody, Accurize here. Welcome back to the Long Dark. This will be a 50 day challenge, episode number 9. So, the update has occurred. I read the uh, change log in the last episode. And, uh, let's see here. If there have been any donations since then, like ones that are definitely uh, worth noting, I apologize. I've, I've already started recording this before I published the prior episode, so uh, I'm sure that I will get around to thanking you. Oh my gosh, as long as I don't die of thirst first, right? But uh, I do want to try to stay up to date on that. Anybody who's making some significant donations, I definitely want to make note of, just like I did with Damien. So. Alright, let's get into this. I really want to make it to the ravine, uh, ravine, because I've heard it's pretty cool. There's supposed to be some sort of cave system there, which just sounds amazing to me, so let's do that. All right, we've got plenty of food. Is this cooked? All right, we're going to definitely be eating this. Okay, care, what, take it over. There we go. Oh, someone mentioned that you can use WASD to navigate your inventory, so I'm going to have to start to remember to do that when I start doing the wear, like uh, with the clothing, to uh, wear clothes and things like that. So... I have to remember that, but uh, well, it won't work there. Well, it it'll, it'll work here. There we go. So I can do this. Like uh, I can do this. Take off. Take off. Take off. Take off. They were saying, you know, it's a lot faster to do it that way than the way I was doing it, which obviously it is because it's pretty quick. So, thank you for that tip. Um, let's see here. All right. Uh, sounds pretty pretty nasty outside. So. I don't know if we're going to be leaving right now. We might have to let the weather pass, but got to double check, make sure I do have a rifle with me too. Yes, I do. Nine rounds should be plenty. Temperature at negative six degrees. That's a little cold. Um, yeah, there's no point in doing that. Someone else was mentioning that I should start using my coffee and things like that. Um, I will next time I have to uh, make a fire. I'll, you know, and I'm here at the homestead. Or at the farmhouse, I'll uh, I'll make sure that I do take advantage of the coffee. They said if you drink it before you go out, it'll actually keep you warmer for longer. So, but in this case, we're just going to rest for an hour, and uh, we've got plenty of daylight to uh, play with. So there's no need for us to push out immediately for for any particular reason. So, oh, we're, we've been alive for 15 days, 18 hours, and 54 minutes. So. We're well on our way to the 50 day challenge, and then in the last update they added a new achievement, which is a 100 day achievement, it's like the Centurion, or something like that. 13 degrees, that's pretty decent, we'll go for it. I wonder if they fixed the rabbits here. Hmm. I don't know. It seemed like these bug issues that I uh, ran into in episode 7 were because I had the, uh, I was playing off of a saved game from version 0.200 oh, yeah this is the same one oh yeah I put my uh, I put my traps over there we'll have to check them when we come back I got a, you know a trap or two over there I can't remember how many but we'll definitely have to check those when we uh, when we come back but right now yeah we're traveling 48 pounds that should be good let's make sure I'm not carrying too much should have done this back at the oh yeah let's go ahead and eat this real quick so we're not a walking uh, taco truck for these wolves. There we go. Down to 45 pounds. Get the rifle. I don't have the pry bar. Do I need the pry bar? We might. We might need the pry bar in the inside the caves. There might be some containers or something that we might want to get a hold of to get into. So let's go ahead and grab the pry bar from uh, from our cabinet. I did forget that. I have my bedroll. Now, the interesting thing, I got that thinking about it, I'm like, wow, there's a cave system. I wonder if I can live inside of that, like in the transition area. Could I live in the transition area and sort of do like my outdoor, non-man-made shelter challenge? That would be pretty cool. So there we go, there's that pry bar. Let's take the 40%er. That should give us plenty of uh, barring of the pry variety. And uh, let's take one more round. Since we are down to nine rounds, we'll go ahead and add that in there. Let me double check my rifle, make sure it's in good nick. 
Oh yeah, 75% completion for Witcher. <laughs> Haven't received my mouse yet with the Damien's donation. I went ahead and ordered a new mouse, so all those people that put out there on the comments, someone buy this guy a new mouse. Well, Damien just did, so you can thank him. Actually, I didn't get the most expensive. I was looking at the Death Adder, the Razer Death Adder. Right now I have the, the Logitech G500. And, uh, you know, it's, it's lasted me three, four years, something like that. Pretty heavy abuse with, like, you know, Battlefield 3, things like that. But, uh, and with this game, I was just beating the crap out of the buttons. I have to wonder if that was what killed the, the right mouse button. But uh, I went ahead and got a silent mouse. It's supposed to be, like, 96% silent. Got pretty good reviews. It was JSOC or something like that, gaming mouse. That was the company, but it got pretty good reviews, and uh, it's pretty cheap. It was only $20, so, you know, I still have uh, some money left over from his donation to uh, spend in uh, other ways to benefit the channel. I don't know. I think I'm probably going to be... I'm going to start saving up for a new graphics card. I'm running a, a GTX 660 Ti, which is fine for this game, but if we get into anything else, that's going to be a little more graphic-intensive. Uh, I don't know how how well we'll, we'll we'll manage with that. So I think that'll be my next big purchase with uh, with the income from the channel. I might actually do some uh, uh, purchase some channel uh, uh, art updates too, because I, I don't know if anybody out there is really good at, at uh, making uh, avatars or anything like that, but. Uh, if you look at some of my live stream videos, you can see what I look like, and maybe if you can make like a survival uh, version of me, cartoony, sort of like the way Mathis has, or some of those guys, uh, you know, maybe like a shredded cop's uniform, like sort of The Walking Dead type of look to it, um, you know, something like that would be kind of cool. Uh, maybe a little, little bit of a you know, sort of a five-day beard going on, like a little bit of a stubble thing going on, because that kind of adds to the... Hey, there's some old man's beard. What the heck? Let's go grab it. We're doing okay. Let's do it. We'll probably miss it if we don't grab it now. So, oh, there's a couple of them. I'll make that a whole bunch of them, so... Good stuff. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the harvesting. But, yeah, if anybody has any artistic talents like that, because I have none. None at all. But uh, I would greatly appreciate it. It might save me a few dollars. Because otherwise I'm going to have to hire an artist to uh, make like a little cartoon version of me. And uh, if anybody wants to work on some channel banners too. Oh my gosh. I'd greatly appreciate it. I'd like some sort of sort of like a comical um, cartoony survival scene. Maybe something where I'm sitting there reading a How to Survive uh, uh, for Dummies book next to the campfire. And there's like a bear dragging off my tent and backpack something like that I don't know but uh, you know <laughs> that's kind of what I'm looking for and I'm talking to one guy and I mean he's pretty good but uh, kind of expensive he's like 170 for uh, the avatar and the uh, and the banner but uh, the guy does pretty nice work but uh, that's a lot of money so if anybody's willing to do that pro bono I'll take you up on it and I'm not too proud to beg TLC while playing TLD. Wow. Is he going to go for that? Looks like he's stalking it. You know what, man? They're stalking freaking rabbits and stuff, too. They're not just us. Those wolves are, like, the wolf behavior is pretty, pretty neat. Okay, so we I think we counted, like, five or six telephone poles after this next bridge here. And then we kind of cut up through between some, some pretty decent-sized rocks. Some huge boulders. So, got the new monitor, and this one was uh, uh, purely out of out of my own pocket. I, I needed it. My old monitor was just it was glitchy to get it to even turn on and work properly. So, I got this BenQ RL twenty four fifty five HM, and I love it. And this is the first time I've actually gamed on it, but it's supposed to have like a one millisecond lag, input lag, which is different than your refresh rate. Input lag has to do with when you move your mouse, how long it takes to uh, adjust on the screen. And uh, so far it feels really good. 
Let's go ahead and check in here. I'm sure we left some stuff here. We can warm up a little bit too. It's 59 degrees in here. This is going to be nice. So yeah, we'll warm up a little bit. Got some crap, all this soup and stuff. Well, let's go ahead and bust out our lantern. And uh, just do it once through here. And I just, uh, I went from a 28 inch monitor into this 24 inch monitor. And I feel like I can, well one, it's a little, feels a little sharper, which is to be expected. Same amount of pixels, but uh, now it's condensed into a tighter, tighter area. So, oh yeah, here we go, locked. I knew, I knew I brought that pride for a reason. Oh, work hmm. boots. Um, okay. Leave those. Those are kind of heavy. The goal is to get over to Coastal and try to find more ammo and try to find more gear. I'm going to grab that rifle from the uh, ooh, wool socks. Those are nice. Yeah, we'll take those. All right. Let's let's um, let's kill that. Let's take a look at our sock situation here. Okay, we got two pair of them. Let's go ahead and wear the really nice ones since we're doing the traveling. And, uh, yeah, we'll leave it at that. Uh, thirst, hunger. How's our thirst situation? Yeah, we're good. I'll uh, take a little drink here. But, uh, alright, let's get moving here. Let's get the rifle out, of course. For them sneaky, sneaky wolves. But I feel like, oh, man. I thought they fixed the wires drooping like that, where they kind of adjust when you come out. I thought I read that in a changelog a while back. I know there's more buildings that I missed, but my main concern is to get over to Coastal and then come back as I collect stuff coming back. I don't want to be full up by the time I make it to the Coastal Highway. I wonder if they, what is this? Did they add something to this? They did. <gasps> Huh. They've added mailbox interaction. Okay. Well, I'm assuming you're going to be finding newspapers in there soon. Okay, let's check out this trunk. That was funny. I guess in one of the last couple episodes, uh, I was like, oh, I need to, I'm going to put that back. Uh, I need to be better about... Uh, uh, yeah, I'm going to put that back. I need to be better about searching cars more thoroughly, and then I completely forgot to do the trunk. Brilliant. Okay, so there's one telephone pole, two, so our, our area should be up in there somewhere. Can't remember how many it was, I think it was like five. Three, four, yeah, probably about five. And we'll see if we can make it back up there. I'm really glad that I kind of paid attention to the route. Otherwise, I'd be getting lost again for an entire episode. Who knows? It still might happen. Stranger things have happened. Matt. This monitor's just really nice. I like it. Well, I start evening shift tomorrow. That should be interesting. It's... <laughs> It's going to be kind of nice, actually, to see a little bit of sunshine and, like, see people's faces and stuff. <laughs> like, like, you never see that. You just see cars drive by, and they look like they're being driven by themselves because you can't ever see who's inside. But uh, I think I'm going to head up this way. Now we should... Oh, no, 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 no. We're heading back. I don't want to... It depends on... You know, I'm playing it safe. Because while I do want to explore and I do want to do it, somewhat directly I don't want to make a careless mistake and lose the entire series so we're going to head back and we're going to hold up man that is just loud that wind is whipping fast wind chill negative 32 unbelievable so let's head on back to this first cabin The, the weather effects are so much more organic. They just, they've done a really nice job smoothing those out. Because that just felt like it just came out of nowhere and, and gotcha sort of a thing. So, um, <laughs> we got 
in the middle container. Anything? Nothing. Alright. I'm gonna do a quick... I think I've been here to check this already, but just do another once... Once through, we got some reclaimed wood there if we need it. We got, oh, hey, look, scrap metal. Alright. More scrap metal. I'll take that. I'll always pick up scrap metal. It's just too valuable when it comes to repairs. Monthly like sweater, I'm gonna leave that behind. Dog food, we'll probably end up eating that. Maybe. It all depends. But luckily, we have our bedroll, so we can always just drop it on the floor. 51 degrees in here. Not too bad. And still, we still got plenty of time. If we rest for three, four hours, we might get our fatigue down a little bit. That'll be nice, too. The cold will drop. Uh, hunger's fine, thirst is fine. So let's just go ahead and uh, do a little sleep in here for the next three hours. Hopefully, the weather's passed, but the main reason there is just to knock our fatigue back down. sure that one of the neighboring cabins had a, uh, had a bed of some sort in it, but oh. it feels like 31. All right, let's do it. Now it feels like it's 33. It feels like it's really windy, actually. I think that wind's going to die off and it's just going to be nice snowfall here. Like some moderate snowfall. You know what would be neat is to see the snow levels change depending on the storm. Like you come out and you see the pavement here, but after a huge blizzard, there's no pavement and maybe it's a little bit higher and uh, more difficult to move through. That'd be kind of neat. That might be a little. That might be like a, one of those. Well, that's a good idea, but that would be, we'd have to overhaul everything. Is it really worth it? And then you have to look at the time invested versus the the resulting effect and decide whether or not it's worth the extra immersion. So, 47 degrees. Oh, might as well just walk leisurely at this rate. Okay, I think I lost track of my poles. I think I need to start heading up this way. This kind of feels like the path, right? This actually looks like a path. We'll see. Well, I know there's railroad ties up at the top. I think that's it up there. I think right up through there. Yeah, if that feels right. Now, I've, when I've come down here, I've always gone left on this road. I wonder what happens if you go right. I wonder what else else is over past where I uh, got off the road right back there. The thing I love about this game, I've been playing it so much. I mean, I play it quite a bit, you know? And I still have areas that I haven't even begun to look look into. So. I hear the wolf, I also don't see the wolf. Alright, I think we go up this way. This sort of seems right. Right? Yeah, that's, I think I remember that fallen tree going across there, I think. Maybe I'm just making stuff up in my head to make myself feel better. The eternal optimist, that's me. Really weird given my line of work. <laughs> Man, my birthday was pretty horrible. <laughs> I, uh, everyone was wishing me happy birthday. I really appreciate that. Hey, there's the railroad ties. Or the logs. They kind of looked like railroad ties to me. But, uh, yeah, I had to work 12 hours the night before, and then I, uh, basically came home, slept, went back in for another eight hours. <laughs> so that was, that was my birthday. Um, but you know what? I got my health. I got a great family. Got a great group of uh, subscribers. That is so pretty over there. We can take it in. We've got plenty of time. I mean, it's 49 degrees out here. But, uh, you know, I'm pretty lucky. Pretty fortunate, so. This is... Is this different, or is this the same? It kind of looks... 
All right, guys. Well, abandon mine. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. This is so sweet. Okay, where how do you turn on the lights in here? There <laughs> what? No lights. Come on. Surely the mine would have been pretty. No. Would have been protected. Oh, here we go. Here's the lights. No. I found a bug. There's no lights. All right. Now I'm kind of worried about what's down here. Well, everybody, I... what the hell was that? Did you guys hear that? That was creepy as hell. Okay, um. Oh my gosh. Warmer? We're up to 62 degrees in here. Oh my gosh, there's gonna be, you know there's gonna be a fluffy in here, right? 100% health. My, oh, oh, no, 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 we need that. And we are gonna go back and grab that lantern fuel. I'm pretty sure we have plenty of fuel, but oh my gosh, it's dark in there. Let me check my lantern fuel situation here real quick. Where we at? 72% fuel. Okay, we should have plenty of fuel, but man, it was dark in there. Okay. Wow. Oh, man. This is some Tom Sawyer, Huckleberry Finn stuff going on here. Engine Joe's going to be coming after me. Wasn't it Margaret? Wasn't that the girl that got stuck? Oh, yeah. Just what I was looking for. Holy crap. Looks like you can almost jump down there. Kinda. Milli no, military grade armory. I think it was Margaret. Oh yeah, you can get down there, can't you? Oh, that feels like as soon as you go down there, you're gonna get. That looks like a somewhere you're just gonna end up in a like a gladiator pit. Okay, what if I go this way? Isn't there another branch? Okay, that one goes out. This way comes down. Okay. I don't know why I'm whispering. Okay, I'm just over here. That's all it was. So that takes you to that little loop. Oh my gosh, this is kind of freaky. There's a dead dude there. Did he just lock himself in there? What's he got? Torch. That's new. Okay, so apparently you can make a torch. I think we talked about that really early on and we put that on the wish list. Okay, so here's another way. Oh, those are rocks. That doesn't make me feel any better, though. Oh, wow, this is amazing. You guys have been... Hinterland? You guys have been really... Busy little beavers. Oh, man. I bet Jack goes around to that guy. I didn't check him, did I? I should have searched him. How do I get in there? Did I search him? I don't think I searched him. I probably could have searched him through the through the wire. Let me check my lantern situation. 61% fuel, 10% now. So we don't want to screw around too much in here. I don't think I searched him. Oh yeah. Okay, he's empty. Hmm. I still don't think I searched him. I think doesn't seem like okay so that goes around to the gate now we're heading up we're ascending what have we got here oh we got a oh, you can live in here in the dark okay we'll grab those so we got oh we got a quality tools hmm this will come yeah, in handy taking that snare no 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 I wanted the no no I want the scrap metal that's what I want another hunting knife yeah we could live up in here we just need to uh figure out how to do the lighting in here and be a little maybe just live right at the edge okay I'm going to the pry bar because I have a feeling one of these is going to be locked I'll take it so okay, I'll take that oh, none of them are locked okay let's move out of the workbench area here oh backpack Did I miss anything? I have a feeling like someone's gonna yell at me right now for going, dude, you missed a freaking case of ammunition. Not a box, a freaking case of it. That's what I'm kind of afraid of. Okay. 
Wow, this really adds to the atmosphere. Okay, we're going to be heading out here now. This has got to be the exit. Guarded by how many wolves? Okay, there's... Okay, we definitely want to go down this way. Ooh, there's a dead guy. Frozen. More wood matches. Thank you, sir. Thank you. It's really sad that you died in such a violent manner. Crushed by a cave? Not not a good way to go. Not a good... What is this place? Oh, this looks like the mother load. I feel like I'm going to get locked in here. First aid kit. Another MRE. Some more scrap metal. A rifle round. Alright. Can we check these drawers? Of course you're not going to find anything when you don't use your light properly. Okay, newspaper. Anything back there? No, I'm not seeing anything. I'm trying to kind of hurry but be thorough at the same time. Because, uh... Okay, so we have another path to the right as well. This is a maze. Amazing. <laughs> See what I did there? Okay, this looks like the exit. We can go back down and check a little. Oh, a porta potty. More scrap metal. Jeez. Can we enter this? Oh, you got the put. The, you put the porta potty there, and then you didn't let me explore the inside of that. Come on. What we got here? Some lantern fuel. Excellent. Always good to have a little bit more of that. Okay, let's head back down and continue our exploration. This place is amazing. Okay, so I think that was the way we came. I think this is the other way. Lots of reclaimed wood there. Another path that way. And, oh, pry bar. Our weight has got to be getting up there. Yeah, it is. And we're starting to get fatigued. So we've got some reclaimed wood. We're going to have to figure something out here. Because I won't be able to carry that rifle back from coast. I might just have to make two trips. Might just have to run back. Take everything we got back. I think that's probably what we'll do. We'll just grab what we can from here. Oh, wrong way. Yeah, I want to dump all this stuff. We got some good items. Well, the ravine was pretty, pretty neat. Completely. Is there hooks or anything up here? Nope. Sometimes there's line and hooks up there. Nothing. Nothing. Got a lot of ammo. I think we got six rounds. Maybe seven. Not sure which way to go here. I can't remember. Yep, we're back to... Okay. Well, I feel a little better knowing that there isn't a wolf, at least in this particular life in here. No. Could be like the Hydro Dam where it's a coin flip or something like that. Sometimes there is a wolf in here, sometimes there isn't. So, Alright, let's head on back out here. Wow. And we 35% fuel. Well, next time we don't have to screw around so much. We can just shoot straight through. It won't take that much fuel. But we were doing a lot of searching there. And there's still some a few items in there. But 4.46 p.m. Yeah, we should be able to make it there. If not, we got places along the way we can stop if needed. I think we can go down that way. It looks a little too steep. How's our fatigue? Fatigue's starting to become an issue. We might just spend the night in here. I think that's the prudent thing to do. Because if we need to start a fire, I think we could... Was there a fire barrel anywhere in there? I don't, I don't think so. But uh, if I was thinking for you know, water and things like that, we might do that real quick. We might just do a little bit of water. Because we're down at 0.6 gallons. And we need, we need water. So let's get a drink and let's go out and do a little bit of foraging for some wood. Alright, yeah, we'll, we'll do that. Right, let's 
do a little bit of quick foraging. We don't need a whole lot. Let's get one soft wood, one hardwood. Should be plenty. Let's use our hatchet. Oh, we got quality tools. I forgot about that. We got extra ammo. We got some decent clothing. Extra socks, etc. Alright, let's use our... Yeah, cardboard match. Let's use our fire striker. 100% chance of success. What about that? 85%? Let's not even do that. Let's just... Yeah. Start it like that. 100% chance. Oh man, the, the story mode of this game you know is just going to be amazing. With the investment they've made with the great voice actors. It's going to be neat. Not only for this game, it gets me excited about future games that they're going to make. I'm just, uh, I'm pretty much a Hinterland fanboy. You know, if I don't like something, though, I will speak up and say it. But, uh, honestly, there's not a whole lot not to like. I actually need to have Squirrel send him an email, see if Squirrel will do a second look at the game. You know, since all these huge updates, he played it pretty early. And, uh, I think if he came back and looked at the game again, I think we're overweight with the wood, maybe. Yeah, we are. Got that extra wood, don't I? So, alright, I'm just gonna leave that piece of wood just inside the door here. I got that fur wood just sitting here, weighing me down. I didn't need it after all. So we'll just leave that there. And we'll do... Can we eat? Got plenty of beef jerky, right? Let's do it by condition, though. MRE, let's just do that. Okay, so we're good to go on that, and uh, thirst will be fine. Let's just uh, start to bed down for the night. There's a temperature in here, 53, so we're still good. Plus, we're going to get a little bit of a bonus here with the bag. We'll be, we'll be really comfortable, actually. So let's try to make it through the night. 100% condition. Gotta love that. Oh, day 16, yes, day 16, very good. Hmm, you know, it's pitch black outside. So what is causing, what's illuminating right this entry area here? This should be completely dark. Because this is supposed to be like daylight outside, I imagine. Unless it's like a full moon, like a very bright full moon reflecting all that snow, but... I don't think that's right, because no other building is this bright on the inside. So that needs to be darkened quite a bit to reflect the uh, time of the day, or night in this case. Alright, let's get a drink. 2.30 a.m. Okay, and let's sleep till about 6.42 a.m. That works for me. Pick up our bedroll. 61 pounds. I, take it for, I might leave that there just for emergency. I don't know. Uh, hell, let's just take it with us. I can grab a couple things on the way back. <laughs> 30 degrees. Beautiful morning. As long as the blizzard doesn't hit us. I was wondering why my footprint split there, but then I remembered that I started to walk out this way. I turned around and came back. Footprints were doing some weird Wendigo stuff. That's a good book to take with you if you're ever going camping by yourself. It's a short one. It's a good read. It's good for a few laughs. Do I see something moving there? Yes, I do. I, oh, I see a deer here, too. Oh, it's a bear. Okay, I see a bear and a wolf. Are they going to get into a tussle? 
Oh no, I see a wolf coming at me. Oh no, oh no, oh no, am I gonna have to shoot this wolf? He's coming at me hard. Look at him. Is he coming at me? Or is he running from me? He's running from that bear, I think. Holy crap. I was like, there's no way he pinged me from that far away. I think he's running from that bear. He's going way up that hill. Look at him. He's terrified. He must have read Wendigo. I think that's... I'm trying to remember how it's pronounced. It's on my Kindle. Yeah, that's it, right? That was cool. So we know where we can find at least one bear. Might be worth shooting from way up top, you know what I mean? I wonder if I can snipe from the very top where those... Not railroad ties, but you know what I'm talking about. The, I'll just call them railroad ties. Where the railroad ties are. Shoot straight down on top of the bear. That way he couldn't charge me. That might be the, the way to do it right there. Take him forever to get up the hill. I think I have to hit him like four times to bring him down. Four or five times. Three, four, five, something like that. I know how many times for sure he has to hit me for me to go down. It, that doesn't really seem fair. It doesn't seem very sporting, but it is what it is. Alright. How we doing here? We're doing good. 64 pounds. Everything's fine. What's the temperature at? Oh, it's 10 degrees. It really got cold. Okay, so there's some bears that lurk over here. Wow. I was like, that's a really obese... That's a really <laughs> obese wolf. I mean, hmm. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Eat a salad for once. Once in a while. But, uh... Alright, let's check out this cabin. I know we've been in here, but I wonder if I left anything kind of halfway decent behind. That's less than two pounds. Okay. Alright, there we go. Oh, oh, I thought that was a rifle round. Maybe I haven't been in here. Ooh, there's some dog food down there. <laughs> oh no, apparently we haven't been in here. There's all kinds of stuff. Oh, wait, they're all empty. Have these all been searched? Nope, not yet. Don't really need any food. I don't know why I'm looking, but just curiosity, I guess. How dark is it if I... Yeah. Okay, I think I'll just... Use this when I desperately need to see into a corner or something. Like right in there. Okay, nothing there. No, we've just been here. Uh oh, let's see what's upstairs. Yeah, we've been here. We haven't we searched him? That's creepy. I feel like there's a. That's slightly terrifying, Dave. Jesus, dude, what are you trying to do to me? That music is just... Best be prepared for anything. Yeah, like poltergeists. <laughs> Gosh. That's, that's absolutely freaky. I remember seeing a show and they were talking about the power of music and how it can completely change the mood of a, something you're viewing. And they, they showed like a horror movie with like a murder scene and it was put to like clown music you know like carnival music and stuff like that and it was just like laughable or Dixie or something like that and it was just hilarious to watch and it wasn't scary at all but when you heard it with the real music you're like oh that's that's kind of freaky but uh yeah the music does have a huge effect kind of sets the sets the mood Anything under the bed? God, I don't really want to know if there's anything under the bed, actually. Given everything. What is this? What is... Has he got something under him? Like, I... okay, I guess I can't get it. Looked like it might have been a scarf I could pick up, but I guess not. Alright, so... 
Alright, let's just check all these cabinets real quick. I don't want to turn off my lantern. No need to burn my light up. There we go. Yeah, I'm ready to leave right when the storm hits, of course. And a septic is a little heavy to carry around. We'll leave that. We have plenty of it at home. Plus we have the old man's beard. these newspapers and read through them and see what the stories were. Like leading leading up to the vent. Okay. Yeah, we'll take the sardines. Those are pretty light to carry around. They keep really well. Not bad on calories. Another sewing kit? Okay. I guess I'll take this one. Microwave. Anything inside there? I feel extremely short when I'm in these kitchens. Like, the scale just seems a little bit off. A little. Maybe it's because of my field of view. Because I am running 90, 90 degree. Alright, let's... I know it's not going to be... I know it's not going to be good, but let's take a look. big news. Oh. My episode number 10. Negative 22 degrees, by the way, in case you guys didn't see that. I gotta sleep in the freaking haunted bed. I think I'd rather sleep in my bedroll downstairs. Alright, let's do it. Hopefully I don't get... Exercise the demons. No. Um, by episode number 10, I should know whether or not the next little nugget on the way is a boy or a girl. We're having the ultrasound this morning. Well, what time is it? Yeah, 12.23 on April 9th, so this morning at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time on April 9th, we are going to uh, what time is it? Uh, let's just go for one hour. We're going to have the ultrasound and find out if it's a boy or girl. Now with uh, Ellie, we waited and uh, until she was actually born to find out, which is cool. Now we're kind of doing the other one. Using technology to Get a sneak peek. Yeah, it'll be easier because the room I'm sitting in right now will become the nursery. I'm going to be put out to where the pool table is. The pool table will be sold. So, got to have the cable company come in, run the high speed internet, all that jazz. All right, let's get moving. It's pretty cold, but I think we can make it there with no problems. Uh, yeah, we should be able to. I see the hunger and thirst, but I'm not worried about that right now. I just need to get moving. Another person said uh, sleeping in the uh, car inside the barn is real nice, nice and toasty, and uh, uh, they, uh, how much weight do we have? Oh, we can carry like a pound or something, maybe. Isn't this a store? I think this is a store, maybe we can find something worth. Yeah. Let's see if we can find something that we have left behind here. Beef jerky is an obvious choice. What we got here? Peaches? That's, yeah. First aid kit? I never searched a first aid kit. Hmm. I don't think I can use Water this. Tabs. I'm gonna leave those behind. Nothing in the microwave. What was in here? Boots, wasn't it? Those are heavy. I can't carry those. Okay. Let's, um... Oh yeah, I never checked the cash register, did I? More water purification tablets. They're really big on purifying their water around here. This stuff will come right, in handy. I'll take candy bar. What the heck? But they said, uh, yeah, the, the car inside the barn is real nice to sleep in. And if you don't have a bedroll, you just pretend like you have a bedroll. Or when you're inside the car, you click on bedroll and it, it'll let you sleep even if you don't, you're not carrying one. So food for thought, things to remember. I remember when I got attacked by the bear and I was des I couldn't have made it to the car anyway, but there was a car on the road that I had just left. And uh, I was thinking, oh man, I, even if I go there, I don't have a bedroll. Well, if I had made it there, I could have possibly recovered by sleeping in that car yeah, but it was I remember that it turned into a blizzard it was that was just a, that was a horrible horrible way to die 
That was probably my most violent death, I think. Probably the most exciting one, too. That was... That's pretty crazy. Alright, what's our temperature right now? Not, we're up to 19 degrees. Let's, let's go ahead and drink something. We'll just lighten the load a little bit, of course. There we go. Gave us about almost two pounds of wiggle room. Like Les Stroud said, best place to transport or to carry water is in your belly. I think that was on the Pacific Island episode of Survivor Man. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, yeah, I got dual survival that was taping too. I saw that taping. Gosh, I'm showing how old I am. Oh my god. <laughs> Recording. People like under 30 are like, tape? What the heck's the tape? But yeah, I had dual survival recording also. I'm trying to remember where they were at. I think they were in... Man, I can't remember where they were at. Oh, I think, yeah, they were, um, they were up in the Arctic and they had made the, uh, the little, uh, signaling device out of the snowmobile headlight. And they're in their little snow cave. So it's kind of like this. This would be very, uh, be very reminiscent of this. So, when I get done playing this episode, I'm gonna go watch that dual survival. Maybe have a PB&J. Sam, the sandwich of champions. Get some milk. I got a fresh egg. I just bought a gallon of milk. I'm ready to rock, man. I'm ready to rock like I'm nine years old again. Oh, yeah. I gotta tell you, man. I'm 36, but mentally, like... You know, I know from experiences, you know what to do, what not to do, how to be responsible, and things like that. But my mind is still sort of stuck at being, yeah, I don't know, 22, 23. Like the things that, you know, I'm, I mean, I'm still gaming. I was doing that when I was like five. My first computer was a 286. Came out for Christmas, it was all put together. And um, Karataka was the game that was playing on it, and it had the five and a quarter inch floppy disk that you had to take in and out when you switched levels. And man, I thought it was some pretty hot stuff when uh, locked. I thought it was hot stuff when I got to the three and a half inch floppies. And I remember Sierra; they were the uh, no. eight hundred pound gorilla in the industry. I loved all the quest games. Police Quest, obviously. Actually, Police Quest is one of the reasons I went into law enforcement. Sunny Bonds. But, um... <clears throat> that, uh... Here we go. Here's your little cut through. Oh, we'll check that rabbit trap, too, while we're out here. Because we only needed another... I think we only needed one more pelt, didn't we? There's something down there. I think that's a rabbit that's down there. I think they might have done a hot fix on this. I, I forgot to look at the version number to see if they did. But uh, I think they hurried out a hot fix to fix this issue with these rabbits and the snares. Okay, so we got three snares here still up. And this, I think, should be a fresh rabbit. If it is, they've fixed it. Yes. Excelente. So let's grab this. I know we're going to be overweight, but we don't have that far to go. So, we'll be alright. We do want to grab the meat, though. And we do definitely want the hide. Hopefully we're not going to get eaten. You know, I wonder if it would be better to, to take the hide first and then, holy crap, I got freaking... Follow the birds. Um, I wonder if it'd be better to take the hide first and then the meat because then you're not standing there with a bunch of. Hold on one sec. Oh, sorry, had to clear my throat there. Uh, so you're not standing there with a bunch of bloody meat in your pockets. You know what I mean? I think maybe I'm gonna start doing that from now on. Do hide first, then maybe gut. I don't think it matters between guts and meat. I think guts attract animals just as easy. But, uh, I'll probably do hide, then guts, if, if the animal has guts, and then actual meat. Maybe we made it home. <laughs> so, it looks like they fixed the rabbit traps. Um, I, I should have probably reset that one. I don't... Hmm. I didn't check. I should have checked. Carelessness. When I saw the fog coming in, I was just like, ooh, gotta get home. Alright, so let's throw a little bit of the rabbit here in the fridge. Uh, let's get download everything we don't need. 
Well, let's go by condition. We'll keep those two. Yeah. Just one piece of rabbit. Uh, that's good. Keep that much water. I'll actually add a little bit of water to that. We should be carrying more water. And there's the teas and things like that. Oh, there's a cup of herbal tea. It's probably cold by now. <laughs> it's in the refrigerator after all, for God's sakes. All right. What gave you the first clue that it was cold? Um, all right, the lack of steam. Uh, no. All right, so we got all that loaded up. We're doing really good on food. Um, I'm going to grab a soda just so that we're staying ahead of the uh, the deterioration of the food. They really have it balanced nice now. It used to be food deteriorated so stinking fast it wasn't realistic, and pry bars deteriorated so fast they got it down. Everything's feeling so much more polished. I mean, damn. They're doing such a good job with this game. I wish I was a programmer and I wish I was a gaming programmer and I was part of Hinterland team. Tell you what, that. Wait a minute. Oh, it's because it's clothing. That's right. I forgot. I was like, why is there nothing in there? It's because I had clothing selected. If I collected all, then yeah, it shows everything. Or if I had it selected all. Uh, yeah, okay, so the clothing goes upstairs. Let's throw some of the stuff we have here other than clothing. Got cattail head, old man's beard. That's going to go downstairs. That'll go downstairs. Crafting. Oh, this will probably go by the fire, actually. Rabbit pelt. That'll go downstairs. That'll go downstairs. Got a lot of metal. Six pieces of metal. All right, let's see here. Alpha <coughs> Excuse me. That one snuck up on me. Didn't hit, have time to hit the, uh, the mute button. Um, let's drop off two of these flares. Hunting knife. Let's drop off the good one. Uh, what else? Two pry bars. Definitely doesn't matter. Both the twenty nine percent. That'll go downstairs. Ammo goes over here. Transfer all of it. Twenty three rounds plus t ten in the rifle plus a plus fifteen here. So we got we're up to what is that? That's thirty eight there. Plus so we're up to forty eight rounds of ammo. We're almost up to. A uh, box of ammo. All right. Of course, I guess rifle ammo comes in 20s, doesn't it? Doesn't come in 50. I'm thinking pistol ammo. Okay. Anyway, all right. Let's take a look at. Uh, do we have? Yeah, we have our matches in here. Okay. Let's throw one of these matches. Let's throw the uh, 87 in there. Got tons of matches. Sewing kits will go downstairs. Anything else? No, I think that's good. Let's... Yep. All right. So let's head upstairs. Get rid of our clothes. Oh my gosh! Look at the time. About time to go. Next time I see you guys, I'll know if I'm having a boy or a girl. Oh man, it's gonna be exciting. I think we're gonna name. If it's a boy, I think we're gonna name him Barrett. Uh, if it's a girl, we're not sure on that. I kind of like Claire. We have Ellie and Claire. That would be pretty good. Let's take this toque over here and let's, let's put that one on. Now we'll take these socks and drop them. What else are we carrying? Nothing else. Now ours are wolf skin. It's doing good. It says our boots. We can't complain. Okay, now let's head on out to the to the Freddy hole <laughs> out here. As they call it in King of the Hill. What a great cartoon that was. Love King of the Hill. I think the funniest part of King of the Hill was the uh, the conspiratorial nature of Dale and everything in the world except for his own wife and her uh, her uh, her boyfriend. <laughs> Like he, it was so obli he was so oblivious to that, but uh, he was so conspiratorial about everything else. I mean, that was just so funny. Um, okay, so let's do. Yeah, let's throw that over there. Let's uh, throw the scrap metal over there. We're gonna run out of room, actually. Yeah, we're out of room. But, yeah, that's what file cabinets are for. Right. Now the trick is to remember that you have stuff in the file cabinets. Wait a minute. I think the pelt should fit in there, though. The pelt should still fit. Yeah. Point two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
We got three pelts. I think we need four pelts and two guts, if I'm not mistaken. I'll throw that cloth over there, too. That won't fit. Wow. Okay. All right. Overflow. Overflow parking right here. So there's this. this uh, I'll just take that upstairs and put it next to the stove. And what else we got here? Oh, all these sewing kits. Oh my gosh. There we go. That torch. I'm sure that we can craft that, right? Let's take a look. Torch. You need to reclaim the wood and two cloths. Time to create. How long does it last? Oh, might keep wolves at bay too. Hmm. Might. I don't like that word. I <laughs> like a little something a little more definitive than that. Bearskin bedroll. Yeah, we're gonna have to. Once I get past 50 days, we'll work on the bearskin bedroll. I don't really want to tangle with a bear before day 50. Snare. Okay. What was the one I was looking for? Mittens, right? Where's mittens? Okay. Four and two. Okay. We're correct in that. Um, that looks good. Got a little bit of extra lantern fuel just in case. Things looking good there. We're going to need to put that toque on. Yeah, I don't need all those water purification tablets, but that's all right. So, all right, good deal. Let's head upstairs, get a little sleep, and we'll call that the end of episode number nine. Thought I saw something over there. <laughs> Thought I saw a leg sticking out. All right, everybody. Well, as usual, I hope you really enjoyed the the new ravine in the new episode and uh, like comment subscribe feel free to leave a uh, tip if you think I deserve it you can do that in the annotations that appear in the upper right if you don't have annotations turned on you can always hit the uh, the main page for the channel www.youtube.com forward slash accurate 2 and the uh, donation button will be towards the top of the page on the right hand side of the screen so just uh, if you can donate a dollar or something like that, every little bit helps, and uh, I greatly appreciate it. So thanks for watching. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get an hour rest. I know it's saved when I walked in the door, but I'm old school, and I only trust saving it with my bed. So I can't get out of that habit. I don't trust it because I know what will happen. I'll come back in, and it, it'll be all jacked up, and it'll screw up the flow of the whole series. So wait a minute. Did we ever check this? Yes, we did. Okay. All right, guys. Well, take care, and I uh, hope you guys have a good day, good night, wherever you might be, and I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. Ciao.